Hello, everybody. Let me just check I've got my levels right. Yes, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, I'm two minutes late. Three minutes late. I forget how long it takes to actually get everything moving. You press the button and you have to wait a while for YouTube to, I don't know, some cogs to turn somewhere. Anyway. I think uh, I think I'm good. Let me just check. I can't see myself yet, but uh, hello to everybody. Hello to Helen, who's been here. I think one of the first. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think we're good. I think we're all good. Um, I think this maybe needs moving a little bit. Um, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I think we're good. So yeah, hello. Let me say some hellos. Sorry about that bumpy start. It's always a bumpy start with me, to be fair. You should be probably used to that if you're a regular <laughs> on my streams. Hello to Jason. Hello to Attic. Hello to Original G-Man. Good to see you. Uh, hello to Ian. We haven't seen Ian for quite some time. Where have you been, Ian? We've missed you. Uh, hello, Multiplayer Games. Um... Who else we got? We've got uh, Go Magnet Fishing, Joe Sky Force Minx, Mark Boothby, um, Go Magnet Fishing says, anyone fancy having a scan of my site? Yeah, we can have a look at your site tonight. No worries, should have time for that. Hello to Gaz, good to see you again. Hello Steve, good to see you again. Uh, hello Tawhid, Tawhid, Tawhid. Uh, hello, Brian. Good to see ya. Hello, O2H HUD. O2 HUD. Hello, Jeremy Jacobs. And yeah, there should be some music, Steve. It's well, it's not on now. I've turned it off. There was some music, I think. I think that's pretty much everyone. If I miss you, then just say something again. And I'll say hello again. Hello, Freedom Hustler. Keep on hustling. I'm just going to refresh this because I seem to have a bit of a weird delay on there. So, tonight I've set a subject of affiliate marketing content. I thought we'd have a chat about that. We could share some ideas. I did consider writing some content during the live stream. We could like maybe do something from scratch, but I'm thinking that that is bound to go wrong, probably be really slow and maybe a bit boring. So what I thought we could do is maybe have a look at some content I've got and just see how we can improve it. That might give us some ideas. Have a look on Amazon to get some ideas for content, that kind of thing, and Google. and. Maybe play with some tools as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I can do some site reviews if you'd like. If you'd like me to look at um, your site, just let me know in the chat. You can have a look at it live. Um, what else have we got to talk about today? Um, so I haven't uploaded a video this week. Sorry about that. I've been busy working on the, the roof box video, which um, is very nearly ready. Very nearly. I've been doing quite a lot of work editing, re-editing, watching, re-watching, editing, generally finessing and editing and re-watching and doing some more editing. So I'm hoping it'll be up by Friday, all being well. Um, I'm not doing any other videos this week because I just want to focus on it, want to get it done uh, and go from there. And of course, I'm here to answer your questions. If you've got any questions, if you enjoy this evening's stream, be sure to click the like button. You can do that at any point. It's down there somewhere, just give it a click, really helps me out. I see we've got six likes so far already. Thank you very much for that. There's 44 of you watching online right now, so that is great. Um, so yeah, it depends really where you want to start. We can start with the content if you like now. Um, I'd like a bit of a, a bit of feedback from you guys in terms of ideas for content. I'll share with you some of my ideas. Um, but if you've got any other ideas in terms of what you can write about for your affiliate site, uh, or if you've got any suggestions on how long you think an article should be, if you've got any ideas on a template that you follow, maybe you you stick to a structure um, when you're writing content. But let me get on the computer. Let's start the content ball rolling. Let's talk about um, content mills. But before we do that, Ian has asked a question, and hello to Whisper Hub. Good to see you. And hello, Robert from very snowy Toronto. Ian says, would you mind me sharing a funnel I've been work on, working on? Not updated the domain name yet, but it's in relation to affiliate marketing, social media marketing. Wouldn't mind your guys' opinions. 
we'll have a look at your funnel Ian yeah do share it and we'll have a look sounds interesting so we'll wait for that <laughs> The Furman is here, hello. He says it's just me or is the audio dropping? I don't think the audio is dropping, I've just been listening to myself, I couldn't hear any drops. Anyway, while we wait for Ian to post his funnel, let's get on the computer. Um, and let's go over to YouTube. Now, One of my um, favorite channels, as you guys know, is Income School, which I know a lot of you guys are regulars over on Income School. But their latest video was this one. Did you see it? Basically, they ordered some content from some different content mills. An a content mill would be someone like um, Texton, who is one that I've been recommending. Um, but they've been using a few others like, um, who did they use? Let's have a look. They used iWriter, Hire Writers, and Text Broker. Text Broker is probably the only one I've heard of. And I can cut this story short. Basically, their preferred one is iWriter. And I've not used iWriter before, so I'm going to start checking them out. I so say I've been using Texton. Um, but I think this video is definitely worth watching. Go check it out on Income School. They basically ordered a load of articles and they basically scored them on how quickly they delivered the articles, how good they were, whether they had like copied anything. They ran it through Copyscape. Um, and they also judged them on cost. And yeah, iWriter uh, came up top. And you can even go to Income School and uh, that's not right. I've just clicked on their affiliate link. Never mind. They'll get their uh, their commission when I do order something from iWriter. And yeah, you can see some examples of their articles as well. So definitely worth checking out as we're talking about content. I kind of like content mills because you don't have to worry about finding a writer or anything like that. You can just use them. You pay for your content. You get your content, and off you go. And yeah, we'll be. I think. A little bit later on in the stream, I'll go to um, one of my sites and we'll have a look at some of my content. You can give me some suggestions. I'll make some changes. And we'll see if we can make it even better. Because a lot of people struggle with content. They struggle with coming up with ideas and they struggle with putting content together. And if you haven't got money, obviously these kind of services, they're no good because you've got to write it all yourself. But um, if you have got money, I think they're definitely worth checking out. So yeah, I wanted to mention that to start off with. And I'm, I'm sure all of you are subscribed to Income School anyway. I did hear from them the other day. They are still working on the video for my channel. So I'm, I'm waiting for that with bated breath. Ian says he needs to send it to me first. Yeah, sure, Ian. Is there no URL coming into the chat? I don't see one. Yeah, if you want to email me, that's fine. Eagle at WP Eagle. It should get here eventually. But let's talk, okay, let's carry on talking about content while we're on the computer. So as you know, my brand new um, website, this one, bestroofbox.com. I've still been adding content and still not approved for AdSense for some reason. Don't know why, that's really annoying me. I will get it approved for AdSense. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. I don't know what the problem is. As I said in last week's stream, they approved the like test site that I had set up. And also worryingly, my test site has been indexed on Google. Ugh, never mind. But on the plus side, uh, I've tweaked this article after I realized that you can't buy Peugeots in the States. Big mistake, so. It's got all UK links and I've also um, linked everything up with one link. But did you see the video? It was up last week, all about how you can connect your Amazon accounts together so that you get commission regardless of the country. Firma says, at least with iWriter, you can reject 
an order if it's too bad. That's pretty cool. So I want to try and tonight I want to try and work. I think we could probably maybe work a little bit on an article. How you get ideas for articles? Because the way Income School do, and I've seen this a number of times with some other guys, is you basically do a lot of research around an article, and then it basically writes itself. So say for example, I was going to do this this article again from scratch. The best cargo roof box for a Peugeot 3008 SUV. Very exciting article. The first thing is that most roof boxes fit most cars, so that's pretty easy. It's really just choosing some good roof boxes. So you could head over to Amazon. We'll do Amazon.co.uk as the Peugeot is not available in the States. Do a search for roof box. And in fact, Amazon's got this cool thing where you can basically filter uh, based on the car. So if you do that, then you know that all of these are gonna fit anyway. Um, I would then you know start choosing some products that are well reviewed, like this one. You know you want to find five products probably for an article like this, five or six products. So go okay yeah I want to I want to include this one in my um, in my article because it looks good. And then what you do I think is just start getting some bullet points together for this particular one. So I've just got my notes here. You can see that can't you? Yeah. It's not those. Don't want them. <laughs> you start putting some bullet points together. So let's have a look. So it is smart to look at and well made. So yeah, smart looking, glossy finish. The first one. Um, it comes in different sizes. Really depends on which one. So let's go for the 200 because that's like a reasonable size. Um, so that's perfect for medium cars. Uh, then we'll scroll down and get some more details. I'd also get all this stuff and put it into a table, um, which you know I've already done for this one. So, you know, dimensions, weight, get all that stuff, scoop it off, collect it, and do that for like five different products. I'm only going to do it for one product right now, but you get the idea. You know, uh, large capacity. Uh, let's put the size first 150 litre. I know you Americans aren't gonna know what a liter is, but never mind. It's a bit like a pint, but bigger. <laughs> um, and then what I would do is I would start reading some reviews. That would give me um, some other things. So this guy says really happy, got a good price, la 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 la. Think about carefully about size when keeping it off the roof. So yeah. So maybe I might do two lists. I might do pluses or positive stuff or pros. <laughs> pros is better, isn't it? Pros. And then cons. I'm gonna look at the chat again in a second. So the cons is large, um, difficult to store, or need a lot of space to store, something like that. Um, bu -bu 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 very easy to install once you have the right bars fitted. So that's another pro, easy to install. I see I'm just taking this out of these reviews that are down here. Uh, what else, able to fit at least three size holders. Um, maybe not use that one. Uh, fairly easy to fit with. I'm going to put that as a con then. Needs two people to install easily. I kind of contradict myself there, but hey, we'll go with it. Um, locking bars rather unres unresponsive. Oh, that's not very good. Excellent quality, high quality build. We'll go for that. Even though the other guy said the thing stopped working, but hey. Negative first. The rear opening makes it tricky to load up. Okay, rear opening can be difficult to load. I think you're getting the idea. 
I think you get the idea that you can go through and you can start to make loads of notes. In fact, I might start incorporating these into my article. And there's tons more reviews, so you could get loads more information. And then it's basically a case of kind of converting these uh, bullet points into paragraphs. So, uh, you know, the opening paragraph, looking at this first one, you would write something like, we love the, whatever it's called, the Fell, whatever, 80, 200, was it 200 I was looking at? We love the, and maybe include the smart looking, glossy finish of uh, the, uh, proof box. Yeah, and then you look at the next one, perfect medium cars. It's perfect for medium. I'm good at typing, as you can see. Size cars and combined with the high quality finish, it really does look good or great on the, then I'm gonna include the car, Peugeot, I can't spell Peugeot, something like that. Ugh. Is that how you spell Peugeot? It's a French word. Uh, I can't even correct the spelling. You know, you get the idea. And then you continue and basically you create an article by basing it off the bullet points, writing sentences about each one or maybe a paragraph uh, for each box. You then do maybe a more general thing to start with, general introduction, trying to include the keyword. Was that helpful? I don't know. Oh, hello, R7, good to see you. So um, I can see there are some questions. Let me get back to the questions. We'll come back to the computer in a second. Let me do a transition. Transition. Uh, my tea has not lasted long. I've drunk it too quickly. Carl Brooks it. <coughs> Let me speak. Ian, have you emailed me that link yet? I don't see anything. Nope, not yet. Uh, anyway. Wispub says he's with I he has been with iWriter, and you can what you can do is you can select the cheapest option of rice level if you're willing to wait. And he always have eventually ended up with good articles. So I guess the different levels are really to do with the speed of things. Interesting. And the firm says you can at least you can reject an order if it's bad, which is kind of cool. Grayling says, I'm writing my own articles. Carl says, has anyone used Conversio bot? No, I have not. Anyone else? Maggie says, I always dread beginning to write a blog once completed. I feel so proud and accomplished, but uh, really difficult for me to begin with, especially while keeping my keywords in mind. Yeah, I mean, so coming up with ideas, uh, we've been through this before, but you head over to Google, you do some searches, I'll give you a ton of ideas. C process, have you tried out any free one redirect plugin ins to auto site to country or region? Different goods, different regions? No, but the one link thing that I spoke about the other week in the video, that should do that. It will redirect people automatically to the correct Amazon. M and JK, hello again, good to see you. I'm great. They say that I'm creating a website that shows club and tournament information for a specific game. Affiliate links will be selling hotel rooms through booking.com. Any feedback on this? Uh, have you done it? If you want us to have a look at it, I can give you feedback. I think I mentioned this before in the live stream. I think you're gonna need an event type plugin, or maybe you could just use standard WordPress posts, possibly. Mark says Peugeot are gonna be back in the USA in 2026. I'm not sure it's gonna be worth waiting for. So that's UK EU article now. Actually, this article, let me just, Transition again. Transition. This article is ranking again. I, th I think, I don't know. Let's have a look. And I don't mind now that it's ranking on UK because it's a UK focused article. Um, but look at that. Look at that. Okay. I mean, I could probably take out cargo actually because cargo is not a word that we use over here really. 
Um, so if I do take it out, does it rank? Maybe not so much. But it's pretty good that things are ranking really quickly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take out cargo. And the other thing I noticed there was a question regarding table, so let me show you that. I'm just gonna post a link into the chat. The link is for the plugin that I'm using to do tables. Uh, let's see if we can remember the passwords today. No, of course we can't. Oh, please, come on, let me log in. Ugh. What's going on? Let's log in with something completely different, isn't it? That password manager is a bit rubbish. Anyway, we're in. So your localizing content is definitely a thing to think about. People do use different words, different product names, whatever, and different things. So the best cargo box this is gonna be. Best roof box, even. Don't want cargo. I've got cargo, I haven't got cargo in the URL, that's fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I haven't even set a focus key phrase. Best roof box for Pigeot. Perfect. So yeah, tables, tables, tables. So in Elementor, so Elementor, my current favorite page builder plugin. If you check the link I just put in the chat, it's this link. It is an affiliate link, of course, so I do appreciate if you were to use it. I will earn a small commission that helps me buy beer, which is always good. It's this thing. You get tons of cool widgets and things like an info box like this. Very nice. And uh, gravity form styler contact form seven. You get price lists, which are nice. I think. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that! It's perfect for prices, stuff like that. But you also get this table, which is nice. I haven't done anything as funky as this with my table, but you know you can if you want. So you go check it down out. It's the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And here is the table in action. So that's how I've done it. The good thing is you can actually come over here, make changes, pretty easy, just click around. Or you can do it over here, gives you a little bit more control. For the images, I've just dropped in my site stripe image, just copy and pasting the old code from the site stripe. You all know about that. Yeah, and well, that's it, that's the table. Hey Graylin, good to see you, first time. No, nope, no sign of Stephanie tonight. Robert says, what are you using to localize your Amazon site link? So that's clicking on a, I'm using Amazon One Link. So if you didn't see my video last week where I went into this, this is how you do it. You go to amazon.com. You need to be signed up as an affiliate with Amazon.com first. You go into your thing, your dashboard. Slowly. No fees yet. Clicks are going up nicely though. It's early days, that site's not even really live. So I've only got US um, for the roof box. You then go to tools, you then go to one link. You link your accounts, you click here to do that. Link up all the different things, so um, like UK. Basically just ask you to put your UK tracking thing in. So that's all done and then you, you do all the others. If you're not already signed up, um, 
you will need to be uh, signed up, obviously. The good thing is if you sign up over at like amazon.fr, you'll then be able to quickly sign up for the other European countries just by clicking a button, so that's really easy. Once you've done that, you then need to add a little bit of code to your website. Uh, in here, it says get the code here. Get that bit of code. That needs to go into the uh, footer. To add code to the footer in WordPress. I use a little plugin to do that. The plugin is called, you can like hack around, edit theme files if you want, but it's easier I think with a plugin. The plugin is called Insert Headers and Footers. It's a free plugin, just install it by clicking Add New, doing a search. Once you've installed it, down in settings, you get the insert headers and footers thing. You can then just paste that code into the footer section, click save, all done, and then people will be redirected to their correct country. Ah, oh, Stephanie's here, is she? I see you. Hello, Stephanie. Good to see you. Table Press is a good free plugin. Yeah, Table Press is a little bit more basic. Um, I have used Table Press before. It's okay. I like that one because it works well with Elementor. MJK say, would you say that paying someone to write articles for you is money well spent? Yeah, I do I think it's money well spent. In fact, let me transition. I'm looking at there and you're looking at the back of my head, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I think it's money well spent because it takes me ages to write articles. I think my time is probably better spent doing other stuff like putting the articles up, editing them, making YouTube videos and all the other stuff that I do. So to pay someone 30 or 40, bucks to do an article I think is, is money well spent but obviously that's really down to you if you're good at writing articles maybe you can do one in an hour or so then it might be better for you just to do them r7 eagle is here and he's asking everyone to give a thumbs up I have to agree if you are enjoying tonight's stream then do leave me a like it does help me out we had a fantastic amount of likes on last week's stream Leon said he used Texton for the first time last week, last stream, he was pressed with the quality of work from them. Yeah, I found the quality okay. I, I think with all of these content mills or whatever writers, there's always gonna be a little bit tweaked. It's never gonna be quite maybe as you would have written it. Um, and I'm still not sure that 100% of them are, you know, proper English native speakers. So there's always a few words that they use that I wouldn't use as an Englishman speaking English. Um, but yeah, just a few tweaks. I think it does save you a load of time. So the, all the articles on, um, this site, the Roofbox site, are all from Textum. Steve says to me, regarding the redirection, yes, it does take to the correct Amazon site, but some goods are not available there. Well, that is a problem, and there's not a lot you can do about that unless you write specific posts for a specific country. I've had that issue with the, the roof boxes. Not all roof boxes are available in each territory, but hey, what can you do? Carla started using Ubersuggest, which was part of my SEO tools video, which has not done particularly well. I don't know why. Um, I did a whole article on it as well. And uh, yeah, I hadn't done too well. So go check it out if you haven't watched it. It's, it's got some cool tools like Ubersuggest. Deep Pro says gonna be buying the ultimate Elementor add-ons tomorrow. Remember that link, Steve. Okay, Steve, I just said he will be for the affiliate link. Sorry, I need to keep up. Uh, I tried looking it up, I did not run across that. We are lagging too, apparently. Ah, uh, fair enough. Are you talking about Peugeot's again? Yeah, Grayling is, is Grayling's first time. It's very good to see you, Grayling. A pleasure to have you with us this evening. M and J K says Zander, have you? Who's Zander? Is that? Are you talking to me, Zander? Hmm, I'll tell you, I guess my full name is Alexander, unless there's another Zander that I've missed. 
No, I think you are talking to me. Uh, uh case, I think I'm just looking more about whether you have experience in using hotel booking as an affiliate link or do you focus only on product? I've never used hotel booking as an affiliate link. I find that whole area far too competitive. I don't want to go near it. Uh, MJK say, have you ever managed a database for your site or use cPanel? Yes. Generally, you shouldn't need to go into a database. Once it's up and running with WordPress, you shouldn't really need to go in there. Unless you're talking about another sort of database, maybe like um, Salesforce or something, CRM type database, MailChimp. Ian says, check my email again, maybe the spam, okay. No, how bizarre. You can ping me a message on, on Facebook if you want. You you know me, you can find me on Facebook, can't you? Or just ping it to the WP Eagle Facebook account. Send me a message on there. I've got the, the mailbox or the message uh, box open right now. Hi, R7, I think I already said that. Yeah, give iWriter a try. Use um, Income Schools affiliate link. I don't have one right now. Anthony's back. Couldn't get him for a while because work brought Gmail, which is you to sign into YouTube. Yeah, we did miss you, Anthony. We wondered where you'd gone. Last few weeks, you've not been around. Oh, so you've been lurking. Have you been lurking? That's fine. Okay. I am Zander. Stephanie has had some recent sales. Do tell us. Be interested to know, Stephanie. I want to do some more interviews. Did you see my interview with Tim the other week? Pulled in a thousand dollars a month in November with his Amazon affiliate website. Scott says, "What's the best displaying product prices or view price on Amazon? You're not allowed to." put prices on your site so it's always got to be view price on Amazon unless you're using the API which is really hard to get hold of now so just put view price on Amazon you won't get in any trouble I will check out Convergio bot Carl definitely still no sign of your funnel though Hello, Hellstar, welcome. Good to see you. Stephanie says, do you have videos to help me transfer my hosting? Yes. However, if you do use my affiliate link, then I may, I can help you. I'll help you. I'll help you move. <laughs> SiteGround will also help you move. Um, but there's a video I did a little while back, which um, I'll show you how to do it. It's basically you need to just download a copy of your site and then upload a copy. But Stephanie, I'll help you. Also, on SiteGround, it's a favor. I mean, if you're thinking of buying SiteGround, I'd really appreciate if you did it this month, just because of their tiered affiliate payment system, that if you get over a certain amount, you get more commission on all of the previous ones as well. I'm just too short of getting into the top tier this month. So if you could purchase your site ground stuff in February, that would really help me out. So that's tomorrow, basically, you got left. February hasn't got as many days as the rest, has it? So yeah, if you're interested in changing hosting, go to wpeagle.com slash site ground, sign up. If you drop me an email, I'm happy to help you move your site if you want to hand with it. Anthony says, with one link, what happens if the product isn't available in that country? They basically get a 404 not found on Amazon, which is not great. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> I appreciate it, Stephanie. So we'll go for about another 25 minutes or so. If you want to do, uh, if you want me to do a site review, actually, I've, I may have a site to review. Actually, let's have a look what we got. Because I had a few email requests come in. Where's my notes? Here we go. So 
Stemmy says, can I order and transfer later? So, yes, of course, you can buy your hosting now and then we can do it in a few days or whenever you're ready, it's fine. Just get it going. You're gonna buy them a year anyway, probably, so. Digital Gold says, can you tell me your opinion on 123 Reg hosting? Boo. No, they're fine. Well, they're not that good. They're like a lot of these companies, like GoDaddy, like 123 Reg, a lot of these companies, they started off as domain registrar companies, just doing domain names, and they thought, oh, there's some good money in hosting, we'll do that, we'll get a server, it'll be fine. And it's not fine generally, their hosting is rubbish, like GoDaddy's hosting is rubbish. I love GoDaddy for domain names, I use them for pretty much all of my domain names, but their hosting is rubbish. Um, check out my hosting review guide, you'll find it on wpeagle.com, but the basic conclusion is if you want a new host, go with SiteGround or go with A2 Hosting. I really appreciate if you could use my links, so, yeah, let me put a link to that post right now in the chat. Then if you could use any of the links within that article, that really does help me out in terms of affiliate commissions, which is what it's all about, isn't it, really? But yeah, I think you'll, you'll find the video and the guy quite interesting as well. So did loads of speed tests, SiteGround are really fast, and it's noticeably faster with SiteGround. Yeah, Ian, my email address is not wpeagle at gmail.com. That is an interest that is a nice email. I should probably register that, shouldn't I? My email is is up there, isn't it? Up there. Eagle at wpeagle.com. There we go. Carl says if you change the domain name, how do you stop the change affecting your rankings? That's quite hard. Changing your domain name probably will affect your rankings and there won't be a lot you can do about it. You can free our one and all the rest of it, but you know, each domain has its own domain authority and domain rank and you're gonna lose that. Unless the new domain maybe has got a higher domain rank, then you could benefit, but change your domain name is a, yeah, a big thing and could affect your ranking. Hello, Monica. Good to see you. 59 people watching right now. Peak tonight of 63. That's really good. We're having a good few couple of streams at the moment. Uh, Arsene says, Alex, could you do a program on how to design a YouTube thumbnail and the best way to design them? <laughs> I wish I knew. I, I, my, my thumbnails aren't very good, are they? I, I hate them. I'll show you how I do it. Um, this one's for R7, and then I'll do that site review in a minute. I do have a site that we can have a look at. Transition. So I, for my thumbnails, I use Canva, which is free. Although I think I'm paying for it, which I probably shouldn't be. Here you go, look, there's my thumbs. Uh, so I just, you know, take a copy of the last one for making a new one. Now, when I went to some YouTube training down in London at YouTube, they said that a face is a good thing to have on a thumbnail. It attracts people's eyes. Your eye as a human is drawn to a face. So I tend to put, woo, feeling a bit sick. Um, I tend to put my ugly face on the thumbnails. I don't know if it affects click-through rate or whatever. Now to add this white line, I actually use Photoshop. Canva doesn't do that. So, this is Photoshop. Have you got Photoshop? It's a low, it's expensive. So I get a picture of my face like this, looking particularly ugly. I then go to, uh, what do I go to? I go to select and mask. And I then just like press all over my face. And then all oh, sometimes it puts a bit of background and then I just hold down command on a Mac and just get rid of that. Yeah, do all that. Though saying that, I did actually see a tool online which was called, what was it called? Um, let me just have a look on Facebook, I think I saved it. Here we go. This site, let's check it out, let's have a go. Remove.bg. This thing, look. Hmm. Let me see if I've got a photo of me. 
I don't know if I do. Uh, actually, I probably do on the on the camera card thing. But they're probably really big, aren't they? Yeah, that will do. Yeah. That, hey, look! Wow, that's even easier then. You don't even need Photoshop. Um, although you do to add like a big fat line, but maybe you can do a fat line. No, but that's really cool for removing background, huh? Remove .bg. Love that. That works really well. Let me download this. Uh, downloads. So yeah, you get your removed image. I'm going to pop that into Photoshop. Yeah, much easier than that stuff. What I was doing there, that's taking ages. Let me just okay that. So there's the one that they did. That was quick, wasn't it? That was easy. And then all I do is I just add a, a bit of a stroke around it. So I go to, uh, what do I do? Select the layer, layer, uh, layer style, stroke, uh, put it on the ooh, let's put that over there so you can see it put it on the outside yeah you get the idea so that's how I get the uh, the white line thing like that and then just you really big text now I don't know if you should add text to your thumbnails or not I think it kind of works for what I'm doing although a lot of big YouTubers don't really add much text I mean if if you didn't it would look like this Yeah, I think it needs some text. Pretty sure about that. So your nice big font. This is a thumb. Ooh. Thumb. Make it as big as I can. It goes up to one four four, but you know, on all these, you can actually type in a number, whatever you like. I then go to some stock library to get an image. So I've got a couple at the moment. I use Adobe Stock. Um, which is all right. Obviously, you do have to pay for these. I'm sure you can find free images if you like. I'm going to do a search for a, th a trum. What's a trum? List? I wanted a thumb. It's wanted the big picture of a thumb. I don't know why. Yeah, you get your pictures of a thumb. I, actually, I'm not going to buy it now, but. Um... <laughs> Where's my images that I can download? Yeah, they're there. They're all the images I bought. They're not too expensive. If you get a subscription, it's not too bad. So you find a nice image, like this one, which I bought the other day, which I then realized it said something about counting, and it's that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> and also, I found that you need dark images, because I like my text to be white, and yeah, so I like a nice dark image. There. so that you can actually read the text and that's it and then you can just download it as a PNG or as a JPEG here yeah. let me transition back to the chat we done that yeah we transitioned still no sign of your email uh, Ian I'm just gonna check my email right now. Leon says, what menu headings would you suggest for the front page? Just your main categories, whatever they're about. But yeah, one, two, three, Reg, I don't think they're great. Go for site ground, please use my link. They're excellent. You won't be, you won't be uh, yeah, disappointed wpeagle.com slash site ground. I use AWS one on one G Cloud and Azure. Hi Phil. Good to see you. He likes the one two free reg. Uh, Phil is expert at hosting, by the way. He's been doing some hosting stuff for me. He's set me up with a lovely dedicated server on AWS, which I've been moving quite a few client sites to. We've had a bit of fun with a few, but very, very fast. In fact, 
fill servers are both, including one from one, two, three, was it? Or one and one, no, one's from one and one. Um, yeah, check it all out on the hosting guide. You'll see that his servers are super fast. If you're interested in one, you can find information over on wpeagle.com. Under services, you'll find a page on hosting. But if that's a little bit more advanced, for you, too advanced for you, then go for SiteGround. Mr. Brummy, good to see ya. Says my business uses lcn.com. I think they're great. What do you think, Alex? Have you heard of them? I haven't. Are they good? Free letter domain name, very nice. Scott says, anyone have problems with pages with content, egg product ads, and Google saying pages are not mobile friendly? What theme are you running on that? It's gonna be the theme probably more than content egg that's affecting that. Yeah, Gaz is now on SiteGround. Yeah, you will get a discount if you use the SiteGround link. They give you like 70% off. So if you buy three years worth, you get the 70% off for the three years. So that is really good value. Stephanie says, thumbs up if you're enjoying this live feed. I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna click the like button right now, which takes up to 32 likes. So yeah, I say, let's see if we can get up to 45 likes before the end of the stream. That'd be really good. Only need an extra um, 13 or something like that. If I'm thinking doing maths. Jatin, Jenny, your message has been retracted. What did you say? Whisper Hub says Canva is awesome. It is. Mark Boothby says, if you change hosting, what happens to domain emails? Mm. Grid host webmail. So you, grid host sounds like you're using a company called TSO host. It's a pain. It really depends how you got your email set up. Email is a pain. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It's a pain. Generally, you could move your website and maybe leave your email there. If you wanted to move your email, it's fine. I mean, you just could repoint your domain and, and update all the mail settings so that email will then go into the new mailboxes, which you would need to create on your new host. Create mailboxes exactly the same as you got on your old host. You then need to reconfigure all your email clients, Outlook, Firebird, Gmail, whatever you're using to connect to your POP3 or your IMAP boxes. You'd have to set up all that. If you're using IMAP, then there's a chance that all your email is stored on your old host's email servers. So then you need to move all that, which is a bit of a process, you know, it involves copying and stuff with Outlook, it's a pain. So I've never really moved my email. I, I had my email with TSO Host, which was the original hosting company I used to recommend all the time. And in fact, I got another commission payment from them just the other day, but they're not as good as they used to be. But yeah, I've never moved my email. So I've moved all my sites to like SiteGround and Phil Servers and WP Engine and all these other companies, but I've always left my email because I just can't face moving it. Oh yeah, Robert's suggesting GIMP again, very powerful free editor. I should should remember that, I should recommend it more. R7 says, your face looks a lot better than mine. You're too kind. Digital God says moving over to GIMP slowly. Free Canva, Canva pixels are crap. Not quite sure what that means. Mr. Burrow says, I'm thinking of moving from Yoast to SEO Press. What do you think? I've not used SEO Press. Something for me to check out. Let me make a note. Pixel is not bad. No, Pixel's not bad either. What was that URL? The URL for the background remove. <clears throat> It was remove.bg, I'll put it in the chat. Great little free tool. God knows what they do with all the images you upload. I'm probably they store them somewhere and I don't know, use them for stuff, but hey, don't worry too much about that. Ian. Right, we've got Ian's link. Let's have a look. We need to have a look at this. <clears throat> we'll have a look. Now I'm just copying it to my clipboard. <coughs> Let's have a look. This is Ian's click funnel. Whoa. 
Wow. Did you do this video? Did your video? Is that like a computer reading it? Sounds like a computer reading. Uh, which I guess is fine. Um, I don't know, I'll let the chat decide if they can see this right now, what you think of this. <coughs> to me, I'm, to <coughs> I'm dying as well, talking too much. To me, I'm totally turned off by these sort of pages. That's just my opinion. I know they kind of work, but to me, I don't like these kind of pages because I think I bought too many crap things through them in the past. I've been burnt. Um, and this, join me at social media market. It's obviously a stock photo. That's obviously not you. A picture of you or someone you know that if you can use their um, their image might do better. I mean, the video is okay, but it's, yeah, I don't know. Face to face thing. How are you going to drive traffic to this? Did you make the course yourself? Um, I'm going to join, I'm going to sign up. I've just filled that in wrong, haven't I? You want my name? <laughs> Alex Eagle at WP. Is there going to be some upsell when I do this? Okay, not yet. It's signed by Ian, and then there was a picture of that woman to start with. That's confusing. And is that, is that typo G3? I think it's fine. It looks all right, Ian. Um, but um, I say I'm not a big fan of these sort of pages, but it'd be interesting to know how it gets on. I guess you're going to drive some stuff from Facebook. That might work. Everyone says click funnels are the way to go, I guess. What do you guys think? Um, let me transition it back. Graining says, I think post today needs to be an average 400 words max. That's probably not going to be long enough. Jatin Jenny says, basically was wondering if you could spend 30 minutes on a chat sometime discussing the affiliate website I'm working on. I only have so many hours a day. 30 minutes would be a lot of my time, Jenny. I'm happy to help you out over email. We can maybe chat for 5-10 minutes, but half an hour would probably be a little bit too much for me, I'm afraid. Happy to help you via email and stuff, though, so. Monica and Jasmine, they say it looks click funnily and looks a little bit shoddy. Don't worry, this is all, don't be offended, Ian. This is all just feedback to make your site better. End of the day, you can test it out. You can send a bit of traffic and see if it works for you. Granny says the fonts on that site is a mixed bag. Um, Scott says, anyone got any opinions on what button text converts for links to Amazon? R7 Eagle says it looks busy, Ian. Whispup says, I don't care what you look like, I just want to know I'm buying from a real person. I think, yeah, that is very true. That's why you've got to be careful with stock image. It's so obvious when you use stock image. That's the trouble. Holly pieces it looks like one of those sites. Yeah, I think we all know what you mean. We we'll change the format, it looks a bit different. Yeah, making it more personal. Stephanie says, our job is to build relationships, so it requires transparency. Yeah, perfect. Right. Use your photo, use your face. Can't be too bad. I use my face all over the place and mine's horrendous, so. <laughs> Whispup says, also the video is not a human voice, so turn it off right away. Yeah, it is kind of obvious that it's a computer or something reading it. I guess it is a computer. 
It might be worth someone paying for someone to do a voiceover. Or do it, do it. I'm sure Ian, you could do the voiceover. Emma Jane UK says apologizing, apologizing, apologizing for the massive email you just sent me. What was that then? O2 Hud says Uber Chef plays up a lot. I've not had that problem. Too much. Maybe I'll save the site review to next week. Maybe we'll do another site review. Robert, are you still here? Robert, I see you sent me an email. I oh, see so says, Alex, can I use your face on my sites? Uh, no. I like to know what I'm putting my face against. Jetting Jenny says, you do consult pay consulting? Possibly. Let's talk about it on email. Raswin says, hey Alex, is it hard to change themes on established Word website and WordPress? It's not hard, you can do it, but there will be a bit of tidying up, a bit of work involved probably, if you're not using something like Elementor, which is, works across multiple themes. If you've got a bespoke page builder or short codes, anything like that, then you may need to do quite a bit of rejigging on the content to make it fit to the new theme. Granny says, Helen McCarter, 1500, okay, yeah. In terms of article length, the longer the better. 1500 is probably a good start. Carl's agreeing, 1500, 1500 to 2000 words. Um, minimum. Anyway, I'm gonna start wrapping up. Because <clears throat> it always takes me five, ten minutes to wrap up the stream. If you enjoyed tonight's stream, do click the like button. As I said, I think we could probably get up to 45. We're up to 41 likes. So if you haven't clicked the like button right now, please do it now. Let's get it up to 45. The roof box video is going to be up this week at the very latest. Could be early next week, but it, I'm gonna try and get it out this week. Stephanie says, I'm on the link to SiteGround. I'm guessing I need web hosting and not managed WP hosting. Is that correct? That is correct. You can just have the standard hosting on most companies. The WordPress hosting or the WooCommerce hosting doesn't often give you much more. I don't know, maybe put it on an optimized server or something like that, but it's very easy to install WordPress on the standard hosting. So I don't know why they have these other flavors. Helen, if you wanna, by the way, if you wanna connect with some of the guys in here like Helen and some of the others like Carl and Ian, head over to Facebook, do a search for the WP Eagle Mastermind group. It's a group of us lot really, me well, sometimes, but these guys definitely. So yeah, join the Facebook group and we can continue these chats in there and help each other out. In fact, let me put a link right now um, in the chat, so you can jump straight to that. There's a link there to the Facebook. Ollie P says, Alex, what should we do if Google hasn't even picked up an article after two to three months? So I'm not even showing on the site. When you do a site search, blah, 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 blah. Um, Ollie, have you set up Webmaster Console or Search Console as it's called now? That will give you some ideas as to why things maybe aren't being indexed. jatting has got to go. See you later. Good to have you on. We're up to the 45 likes. We're up to 47 likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you again next week. I say I'll get that video up hopefully Friday, if not early next week. And then I've got some other videos I'm gonna do around that video, so I've got a load more content to add to it. I'm gonna share my earnings and traffic on a regular basis, and basically just kind of, um, yeah, share exactly what I'm doing on the site and everything that's happening on the site and be very transparent. So, um, yeah, that's it. Scott says, is Boot Boutique still your best site for orders? It's had a bit, it's gone a bit quiet, Boot Boutique. I haven't looked at it. I think there might be a problem with the WooZone or something on it. it needs updating. Still pulling in like, I don't know, 40 or $50 a month. I, I need to look at it, I haven't even logged into it for months. 
Robert, you asked there, what's your opinion of dropshipping and AliExpress? Um, <clears throat> I'll show you my opinion. I've done a, a lot of videos on that over on my other channel, so there's one. And from there, you'll probably be able to find some others. Uh, in fact, I did a video here which is called Dropshipping with Shopify and AliExpress Sucks. So there you go, you probably get my idea. I don't like dropshipping and stuff because you have to do with clients and with affiliate marketing, you don't. Affiliate marketing, you just generate the sale, you let the company, whoever you refer people to, they deal with the clients. With dropshipping, you own the clients, so you've got to deal with customer service and all that kind of stuff. Can't be bothered with it. Uh, by the way, Robert, I see, are you still there? I see that you sent uh, me an email. You just sent me a, a few hours ago, so I'm hoping that I answered your questions. Your questions were, how do I localize my links? Um, you said you're in Canada, you clicked on a couple of the links on my Roofbox site and you ended up on Amazon.com as opposed to Amazon.ca. The reason for that is, is that I haven't registered myself as a Can Canadian, as a Canadian affiliate. I will do that though, I will do that. So I haven't linked it, I've just linked it to the European ones. Um, you say you're considering bestazon.io, that's not a product I'm familiar with, so I can't comment on it. Um, yeah, and I've just told you my thoughts on dropshipping. Check out my other channel for even more thoughts on dropshipping. Don't like it, I prefer doing affiliate stuff. You say you'd like to avoid WooZone, well then yeah, wait for my video that's gonna be out either Friday or Monday, hopefully Friday where I make the roof box site which doesn't use WooZone. So hopefully that's answered your questions. So let's call it a night. I'm a bit distracted, I'm just typing. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for joining me this evening. Yeah, Steve, you're gonna have to join up with Facebook, I'm afraid, to get onto that group. Good night, Mr. Brummy, and good night to everyone else who joined me this evening. Helen says, can we hit 50 likes for up to 48? Maybe we can. There's 49 of you watching right now, so maybe we can't, unless some of you haven't clicked the like button right now. There's 48 watching now, and there's 48 likes. So if every one of you watching right now has clicked like, then that's it. But if you haven't, do it right now. M and JK, what did you do before affiliate marketing? How did you transition? Um, I did consulting, I worked for myself, I did YouTube. I just did transition slowly, I think. I started getting a few affiliate commissions, and then I getting a few more, then a few more, and then it got to a point where I was getting quite a lot of affiliate commissions, and then it was obvious that I didn't need to do client work so much. So I started doing less client work and doing more affiliate work, and it just kind of transitioned that way. I haven't had a real job for, for a very long time, so I never transitioned from a real job to affiliate marketing. I transitioned from having my own business and having clients to affiliate marketing, if that makes sense. And transitioning from a real job to a business was just a jump, really, <laughs> just did it. I borrowed a little bit of money off my parents and went from there. Monica says, night, you about to get a pint. Yeah, Robert, glad to see you on there. I just replied to your email, basically I said, yeah, I hopefully I've answered everything in the stream tonight. If you need anything else, drop me another email. <laughs> Someone's hit the dislike. Would love to know who has hit the dislike and why, and give me some feedback and I'll try and do better next time. Pretty much every uh, one of my videos gets a couple of dislikes. I, I don't worry about it now. But hey, an engagement's an engagement, isn't it? 49 plus one is 50, as Furman says. <laughs> Robert says, how many sites do you own? I own 10, something like that. Maybe not 10. I've got a lot. I mean, I've got 50 odd domain names, loads and loads of hosting packages. So I'm trying to consolidate them. I've got loads of sites. Oh, uh, it was M and JK. Should have guessed. <laughs> Anyway, 
I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. I've really enjoyed it. And good luck. Um, yeah, good luck with your sites. And um, let me know if you need anything. My email address is up there. And I'll see you in the Facebook group as well. Now, I'm just going to find the stop button. This is going to take me a few moments because I've actually left the page that I need to be on to do it. And here we go. And it will always cut me off. So I'm going to stop talking for a minute. I'm going to say goodbye. And the, the dislike is still there. I don't know what's going on. Never mind. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll see you next time. And I'm going to press the button any moment now if I can just find it. Um, last question. So, what's the best? Uh, my best commission. My best commission is from stuff that I promote in WP Eagle. Obviously, um, I've got quite a few subscribers and quite a few viewers, and <clears throat> the WordPress products and things like hosting, especially, does pay a very generous commission. Uh, well, compared to other things. So yeah, that's where I get the majority of my commissions. I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to press the button and it will cut me off. So a little bit of silence before we go tonight. Where's the button? Oh. The endings, I think, are so smooth and polished, aren't they? On my streams, they're, they're nearly as good as the the starts. Where's the button gone? I could probably do the button on there. Do the button on here. <laughs>